Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You are watching Lawyers TBA and I'm Aslam Parvez, advocate. Respected friend, today I will discuss. Today I'm going to discuss with Mr. What's your name, brother? Uh, my name is Christian Maldonado. He's our new friend. We are going to talk about his life first. Actually, he became Muslim now. But I'm going to discuss about his past life. How did he enjoy his life? Yeah, my dear, my dear friend, how are you? And tell me about your previous life. Whatever you like to say. Your childhood, your young life, your practical life, your social life. Good thing for public. Okay. Um, well, uh, from, from your name, <laughs> starting from your name, to up to Muslim Islam. Okay. One moment before Islam. Okay. Um. I mean, I need to say like the date of birth. Uh, it's not that. No, uh, no, not date of birth. <laughs> I mean, childhood. Childhood. Parents. I mean, I just say like when I like when I was here and born in this earth. I just say like. I was never meant to be here. Uh, I was a premature baby. I was, um, they said I was not going to live, um, but I, I was born six months. <laughs> so um, they had me in for a long time in incubation. And uh, after that, they said, hey, he's finally good to go. He's, he's ready. Um, uh, after that, uh, you know, the name was never adjusted to my name, the Christian. Yeah. Definitely. So, but so, today. Uh, but today, yeah. <laughs> um, and I used to say, like, uh, from I had good two good parents, that's for sure. Uh, I've I've um, lived under a Mexican household, uh, and of course. Uh, going back and forth to Mexico and here all the time and during my vacations um, then uh, tragedy hit and uh, I was struck by a car oh. I was I was run over Who uh, did it? Um, it was it was a couple of people in my block uh -huh. um, and accidentally. I accidentally never intentionally never so intentionally. so I um, I have two older brothers, they were picking on me, um, and couldn't find my dad, oh. went outside. Which find place? Him. Which place? The area? Oh, Glenview. Glenview, yeah. north of Chicago. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, and um, after that, I went back to the hospital. Uh, my, of course, my dad prays to Jesus. Uh, he always, uh, as a Catholic, and he was a Christian, and it was fine as, as we were. Um, but he, he said, like, you know, if he lives today, I'll go uh, to Mexico and, you know, and uh, give something to you for me. And, and we ended up doing that later in, in the years. Um, and so I, I was there for at least two days in the hospital, oh. came back out, and so they said I was okay. I didn't think I was okay, but it was. They said I was okay either way. Took yeah. the MRI and everything. How old were you? Uh, four years old. Oh my God! So it was pretty young, that's for sure. Uh, eventually, when we did go back and forth to Mexico, this is the time when my dad did give up something, and we had long hair, uh, all the way to the to the bottom. You had we, me and him. Whoa. So we had long hair. You and your father. Yeah. And uh, so we went to Mexico. This we is still when you were four years old? No, no, no. Okay. This is eventually way, way later in life. Okay, okay. So like around seven years old, okay. I think. So uh, I had three years of long hair. Uh, so he also had long hair. And so we went back to Mexico to, uh, to the church. And there we see, you know, Jesus uh, in the cross and the crucifixion. And um, we both cut our hair. 
uh, and and pinned it on on the wall where uh, everybody who, who cut your hair? Oh, uh, my dad did. Huh? Uh, yeah, and and then he had someone cut his hair too. So uh -huh. he ended up snipping off the whole uh, pigtail. So is that a religious ceremony? Um, I really don't know. That that's the thing. I think because like he uh, he offered something to to him, and he promised to do that. So we ended up going there and doing that for it. Um, I, I again, I, um, religious being, I was in and out uh, with uh, Catholic. Uh, my dad was Christian, so he was raised uh, in a different perspective way. Uh, which uh, state of Mexico? Uh, uh, he was from uh, near, I should say, near Mexico City. So, oh, oh, so near America. Yes. Uh, so. So like the Mexico, this is uh, that's where he grew up in. Uh, my mom was uh, further south, like way south, uh, where Acapulco is. <laughs> so like, famous, like basically Hollywood, it would be over there. So, um, by that time, I was getting to knowing my grandparents, uh, my dad's side. So this is where I met. I've seen my grandma. Uh, she's a very religious woman too. She's and uh, very kind, definitely. And she was very kind, but not to her own kids. But that's for sure for us. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It was very different. Grandchildren. Yes, yes. Um, so eventually, I didn't get serious much, but later on in life, uh, by like ten years old, uh, my dad went back to Mexico, brought her back, and uh, she was she'd been bitten by a dog. Oh. And, her, and her calf mm -hmm. so he didn't really want to do that so it's like she had no one else to be with over there so he brought her over here for uh, until I was 19 so we had her for a long time in, uh, in America and she she was great she was a great grandma and that's the best thing of her when that, she disappeared uh, eventually she uh, passed away three years ago oh yeah yeah yes so you know and you know blessed with her where she is right now but hey uh, I do miss her all the time but uh, she's a great a great grandparent because she was loving you too yes she she helped me out a lot of things um, and eventually I, I almost caused her accident but I didn't I, it was close but not too bad um, uh, later on in life we again our trips to back and forth to Mexico until when I was 13 years old um, it was my last trip uh, to, to, Mexico. to Mexico yeah uh, that's this is eventually it impacted me so much and it was my father um, we were riding on a motorcycle um, and we basically took turns so um, I was 13 my dad was already like 23 Oh, Our, uh, yeah, and Wait, you uh, were 13, your dad was 23? Sorry, sorry, 33. 33. 33. <laughs> sorry, thank you. I, I was memory mo numbers. I'm like, no, 33. 33. 30, 30 years different. Yes. Um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Fun. And, um, um, so we eventually were riding on a motorcycle, uh, taking turns. Then my sister came on, and uh, my other sister. Uh, they all hopped on and then uh, went to get uh, air for the tire. And that's all. And there, I thought they were going to be back in like 20 minutes, but it turned to hours, and they never came back. And after that, um, I got the story that my dad was in an accident with my sisters. And uh, he died on impact. So uh, they they fell into a ditch, and uh, my dad hit first in cement. And my sisters uh, had a broken rib, a broken leg, a broken arm. Um, really sad. And it's very sad. And, it's, and eventually, how long? Before? How long? Yeah. Uh, it's been already. It's, I'm already 31. So. Ah, you don't uh, look. Uh, yeah. Um, so it's been already 17, 18 years since he passed away. Yeah. Uh, and again, it kind of 
dawned on me so much that I've yeah, really definitely uh, losing a father figure and never uh, there for me as much. I've always relied on other uh, male role models, but again, they weren't really as much to me. Uh, so living with a single parent. Uh, yeah, by the way, did the bike now does it like traumatize you? Whenever you like ride bikes and see? No, not really. It's just that it's mostly my mom that uh, was basically traumatized from even like. Uh, mentioning a bike and she says no you can't ride it you, you see what happened to your dad and bicycles. everything um, yeah motorcycles and you so bicycles? no no I, I'm okay with you know bicycles bike. yeah then yeah. auto bike you can do it I, I like I said I can do it it's just that my parent didn't want me to do it yeah, but she, you scared she, no it's no it's it doesn't natural, yeah. Things like tra this kind of thing like traumatizes people. Yeah, a lot of the times that people would be traumatized from all that. Uh, mostly the impact that uh, that happened, and they don't want to relive that memory again. So, yeah. Um, well, for me, it was never. It's it's just basically I'm okay with writing with anything. I was mm -hmm. mostly just you are a brave man. Yeah, I was just more of experimenting, if anything. So, uh, I think. But the thing is, for me, I have the most uh, fear I've had was two things. One was my the fear of like being weightless, being like like in a skydive. I I can never do that. Heights to me, it's nothing. I can look down, no problem. But but falling is the other thing. I can never do it. Same thing with falling off a chair. Same thing of falling off a ladder. I'm scared beyond belief. I can never do that. Mm. Oh yeah, I I, I just have the fear. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is gonna like live it in my head. <laughs> On the other one is that I've always lived by, uh, and it scares me to this day, is that basically the the end of the world, the the day of when we all leave, and that's basically that scares me the most, um, and it still does to this day. So, um, but either way, I mean. I don't, I don't like talking about the whole trickmatics experience oh, and all that, yeah. but that's something that I, I all understand like one day it would happen. Um, uh, in, in my later youth, um, you know, I've gone through high school and not too bad and everything. I've, uh, I've been with the company, uh, with UPS for a long time. I've been with them for 11 years. But your education? My education, I actually went through uh, a lot. So I stopped at uh, assistant, or sorry, associates. Associates. So associates. Community college. Associates Community College, yeah. So I was in community college. I've been there for at least like three years. Um, Discipline? Huh? Discipline? Yeah, Oakton Community College. That I've been there. Oakton Community College. Yeah. Yep. And then I went to Harper next. Ah. Uh, Harper was a really good school, that's good for sure. School, yeah. I, I enjoy them. No, no problems over there. Never anything. Um, Oakton, I've, I've always uh, met with people. I've uh, fold around all the time, and it's just like, uh, it's like school's not for me. But oh well. And I, I pass uh, with everything. I just again, it wasn't for me. Uh, so I went back and forth with school, uh, and I tried to do the STEM program. So uh, I tried like. Uh, electrical engineering uh -huh. so and it wasn't for me it was a lot of wires resistors uh, everything like that that didn't really uh, help me out I get shocked a lot so anytime I put something and it just shocks me uh -huh. so I was like no no thank you uh, uh, um, and then I tried um, plumbing uh, I have a very sensitive nose so I have to like put a plug on my nose or something oh. so I don't have to smell everything so I was like no it's not for me um, then uh, I did welding uh, actually welding was a really fun uh, oh, trading yes I, I actually enjoyed it way more I've also uh, taught someone a class like how to do these weldings because I learned by sight I learned everything by reenacting everything yeah. So I, I kind of like project or parakeet or par uh, like just to understand. And so I had a, uh, prof a professor come up to me and told me, it's like, hey, can you teach the class for a bit? And I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. And I did it. He, t he gave me his lecture notes and I, I like, hey, we're so today we're going to do this and this. And I looked over the uh, our class's um, assignments 
and it was it was pretty simple and most of those people that I've uh, still to this day friends with are doing way better that's for sure I, I didn't see them improve so much uh, in, in life uh, right now I've uh, one of them is a journeyman one of them is uh, helping out in uh, a journeyman too he's he's a journeyman and he's and he's doing fantastic and he's he's this is his last year and I, I'm so proud of him and what he's doing Definitely. yeah um, and then uh, I have another one that's basically uh, he's a manager of uh, agriculture so he uh, design um, blueprints and schematics and uh, design of the building <laughs> and he's also uh, in the field and looking all uh, over the people's work so just to make sure he gets everything on on point so um, a few friends out there are, are great knowing knowing people is comes a long way and seeing how they are progressing through uh, through their welding and the experience is the best thing I've ever seen um, later on in that year uh, I wasn't financially ready so I, I did not have enough money to go on with my profession oh. so I ended up dropping and you know and dropping education yep dropping. yep and so this was already at like 25 and I didn't I didn't want to do when it. you were 25 yeah yeah so I threw out the like I have three years of different things so like I tried plumbing I tried electrician and I tried uh, welding welding yeah and welding was my major one. close to you yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, by the time of financial aid it was uh, didn't help me in anything so I just decided to end the education but um, a lot of impact happened is that my mom uh, was diagnosed with cancer uh -huh. yes so she was already at um, f uh, five so and this was liver cancer and it was already growing from from her abdominal from her uh, uterus all the way down like from her uh, throat thyroid everything and it was really sad to me because you know it, it she was she was my last parent and, and she was yeah and she was uh, she was about to leave and and I, and I regardless I did not have uh, a great family I've always had fought with my sisters I've always um, didn't get in good terms with them and I and I try to be there for my mom all the time whatever she needed I, I tried my best but I couldn't that's what uh, the other things would happening to me so by the time by the time I was on the train and heading back she already passed away so I wasn't there for her at that at yeah that. In, in, uh, yes uh, this was in um, Park Ridge in Park Ridge. Uh, yeah in west of Chicago yeah from here west of Martin yeah Road. Yeah. Park yeah so uh, Man is, uh, <laughs> it's still. This sensitive. is life. Yeah, this is life. Uh, this we, is the life of your name, Christian. No, whole name. Oh, uh, Christian Maldonado. This is life of Christian, huh? Yeah. Wow, good. Yeah. But now, my friend, I'm raising one question. I'm curious. I want to know about. Every people like to know about. What thing attracted you to Muslim Islam? And from where? Not this is not one day play, one day game. This is not one day happen. Just you took Shahada and you became Muslim. No. Before coming into Islam, you were thinking definitely, naturally. Yeah. So tell me about history, journey of Islam to, to Islam. Okay. Um so I have a co-worker uh, and he, um, this was UPS still, but in Northbrook. And Northbrook, respected friend, north of Chicago, north of Skokie Blue, Skokie, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, he was telling me it's like uh, about Islam, and he said it was like, hey, you know, if you try to become Muslim, and, and I was like, I haven't really decided anything about that, so and he was teaching me a few phrases with uh, um, with greeting and peace uh, peace be upon you uh, and I try to remember it and sometimes uh, I'll forget about it 
but he he was the one who was trying to get me into becoming a Muslim. He was the first person in your life to uh, to talk about Islam, or before his before him, you were um, you know about Islam, you knew about Islam yeah. through media and through there, there. Yeah, a lot of then it. What were you uh, opinion? What were you uh, what were you thinking about Islam before meeting this person? Okay. Um, I didn't really know about uh, the religion itself. Didn't really, you know, touch it or anything about it. Um, it's still it's still new to me and everything. But I, again, it was it was never uh, a question about about Islam and 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 the way they. Uh, and the way the culture is I, I just assumed how uh, how they are you know with you know uh, uh, their ethic so there are a lot of them are just grouped together and stuff like that so I never questioned it until later in life I've like I was like oh there's different religions this is like there's Christianity Catholic Judaism Muslim uh, is, uh, and, and, a lot of other and a lot of other ones like Confucian, Tao, Buddhist, and all. And I was just like, hmm. And I really didn't really question religion at all, just because it's like you know, uh, my my parent, my parents, and my grandmother were religious people, but I was never. They were mostly bring, Catholic people are mostly uh, religious. Yeah, and I was always brought to when I was little to the church all the time, and in so the in the family, so. And I, I really didn't read the book, uh, the Holy Bible. I didn't really know about the Holy Bible or uh, the Bible itself. And so I just tried to, uh, you know, go along with it, that's to say. But it didn't feel like I was in, in part of, of them, like really uh, uh, calling me for, uh, for to be them. But... Uh, I don't know. I just that's. Uh, but he, that person, what was his name? Oh shoot! See, uh, this yeah. is a this is a greatness because he invited you. He tried to save you from hellfire mm -hmm. because Islam. Now, what do you know about? Uh, when did you took? When did you take shahada? Uh, back in August. I said September. August twenty fourth. In this year. No, okay. yeah. one month. Okay. Ago. So, it's, so the ninth would be, yeah. No, ninth would be September, right? Yeah. Yeah. This no, is September. October. September twenty fourth. One uh, let, twenty one. I mean twenty uh, it's, days it's, ago. It, yeah. It's no, actually it's going to be a month. Month. Almost yeah, month. A month. Yeah. Twenty two today. Yeah. Yeah. Month. So what? After taking shahada, what? What? What are you doing? What you t thought? What uh, were you feeling to change? Definitely you were feeling some change. Yeah. After taking Shahada, you were not sleeping. You were studying, you were meeting with people, you were talking with Muslim people, non-Muslim people. Mm -hmm. So, what were you uh, realizing and, <clears throat> and difference, difference yeah. between your previous life and Islamic life? Um, what I've noticed the difference about uh, the Western world and the Islam uh, world and cultures are two different things that's for sure I've I've noticed that um, it, and I, I can see this in in Mexican also uh, that you know you're more close to each other as family than anything else and and in this modern society it's not it's not many of them they they they'll like have people uh, set aside and like your grandparents sitting at a retirement home or um, don't visit them or anything like that. Where in 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 a family uh, of Muslim and Mexicans, they're always together. They're always near someone. They always have someone to call. Yeah. They always have someone to be there with them. Yeah. Um, and seeing like your neighbors also, since your neighbors are really close to you, they're almost like family. Yeah, and that's what's good about that being friends with your neighborhood, and and seeing uh, the difference between that too. It's like uh, I know for sure when you're in a Mexican culture, um, you hear a lot of rumors, a lot of word spread, and everything. 
So, and that's that's not really good for anybody. And, I'd rather, and, yeah. and some of it's not true and everything. <coughs> but um, what leaned me towards uh, Islam is is that it, it I was searching for a purpose, and and mo uh, Islam showed me more of a purpose with being closer to God, um, and then also knowing that I could be saved, and that's something I, I've always wondered if if I am going to the hellfires, I'm not going to be saved at all. So, True. so I've I kind of want to have a. Um, a clean way to go and say, "Hey, I'm, I'm ready to accept uh, any any possibilities of by God itself." So, and I'd say, you know what, I I I'm willing to submit to uh, you know God. So, and I I say, "Hey, why not become is Islam?" So, yeah, and that and there's a huge Does change. Does he know your first friend? You became Muslim. No, he still doesn't know. But he was first he person. Still with at UPS? Uh, he still works at UPS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, uh, I've seen him in uh, a different building where I used to work in, and so I. Salam alaikum out of nowhere. He's kind of surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if and, you and, say him salam and give him this glad, glad news, this is a, this is a, wonderful news yeah. for you and for him, and for your future family too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've again. There's there's a couple of people that I always so I, I mentioned uh, too um, that uh, I know for sure. Uh, his name is uh, Tadkir, or they call him Taz. Um, he works at a gas station in Wheeling. Huh. Yeah, and wanted to become a a, a dentist. So he went to uh, what's it called uh, University of Chicago, <laughs> and he. Uh, he also wants me to uh, convert into Islam, and because he love you. Yeah, he loves you. Yeah. If somebody love me, they want to save me from hellfire. Yeah. If you love me and I'm doing wrong, what is your fundamental duty to yeah. stop me? Yeah. To talk to whatever relation we had. Mm -hmm. So same thing. Islam is a religion of God. This is really natural religion. Islam is a religion of Jesus, Moses, Isaac, Jacob, Noah, Abraham, Adam. Mm -hmm. If somebody says about look, Jesus is son of God. If somebody says, oh, a couple, uh, most of the time. Yeah. I've then what heard. will you answer now? Um, I, I <laughs> this is a firstly denied. Yeah. No, this is a blame. This is a allegation. This is not true. Mm -hmm. Because if say he has not father, then what about Adam? He has not mother. Mm -hmm. You know Adam, yeah. Adam first, yeah, man. first man. He has no father. He has no mother. And look at look at uh, Eve. Mm -hmm. Eve. Yeah, Eve. He ha she has no father, no mother, but Adam. Yep. He, she. He he has father and mother from uh, Adam's left side rib. Rib. Okay. Came from rib. Wow. This is the medical of Allah, God. Mm -hmm. Whatever Allah like, God like, He does. Nobody can stop Him. Nobody can guide Him. So Jesus, Moses, whatever, we respect. We we uh, respect all of those messenger of God, prophet of God. Mm -hmm. But we follow peace, Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu mm -hmm. alaihi wasallam. Why? Because Muhammad brought last and final book. Quran. I'm sure you know by now that uh, Islam is not new. No, it's been around for a while. It's the same religion that Adam came with, same one that uh, Abraham came with, same one that Moses and Jesus and all these prophets came with. It's just that every time a religion gets tainted, especially in the, the basic of it, worshipping one God and following the messenger of that time, as soon as that gets tainted, the way of God is that He sends new messenger he sends a new messenger so that's what Islam is and after Prophet Jesus the only messenger is Muhammad so there is no messenger in between and I'm sure I'm sure you learned about this and you're that's like one of the first things that 
the, it's like the only dif the main difference actually the basic difference between Christians and Muslims Christians worship Jesus they say he's the son of Mary son of God we say he's the son of Mary and he's the uh, prophet of God and he did not die he was lifted up he will come back when the Antichrist comes so that's the main difference and uh, yeah I, I'm just curious like your, your parents passed away your, how's your sister she was okay in that accident um, my sister was never the same uh, when the whole accident happened with my father um, she was angry all the time uh, frustrated she wanted because of accident because of the accident yeah um, she didn't really she caused a lot of problems in uh, and where she kind of divided the whole family between all of us and it, it just shows that how much you know hatred in your heart you have it can never fix anything that was happened in the past. Maybe she thinks it was her fault. Whatever happened. That's I don't know. I can't really say for her. Uh, but otherwise, by that, I mean. But how do they feel about you becoming a Muslim? Do they know about it? They haven't known about it yet. They so, okay. no, not yet. But, but have have they seen you around like recently? They have. They have. They but. Have. Feel a change? Did, did they say anything? Oh, there's a huge change. There's just, um, they still, they, like, they see me a lot happier, if anything. So, and I was okay with that. And, and I, I still want to know what my sister has to say uh, of me. <coughs> I want to know what uh, she, what she's going through. But you know, uh, hopefully she finds something, finds someone, find to um, lean her to a good path that's for sure I don't want her to you know you know I, I just I want I want her to be peace in mind I just don't want I want that hatred to be lifted off her heart uh, the burden on her shoulders to be lifted any anything in her mind that's still putting her down should be lifted from her so that's I, I do care um, I just don't care as much as the past anymore. I rather care what's going on now and then later in the future. That that matters to me the most right now because that stuff that it still hinders you and take one step forward and take two steps back and that's the same thing. And I just yeah, you know, I'm never moving forward. You're always always taking back. So that's why I got to keep on moving forward with all whatever I have now. It's just like you know what. Let's let's stick with it. Stick right through. Nowadays? Yes. Yeah, so I'm only I'm I'm learning a bit of uh, of the whole uh, Muhammad uh, passage. So you know uh, I'm I'm still learning like who who is uh, the Prophet of Muhammad. So so otherwise than that I'm I'm gonna keep on continuing to read more uh, understanding of uh, Prophet Muhammad. Uh, and the Quran just to understand like get get me to where I am today so uh, hopefully when I continue on reading the Quran um, it'll lift it lift me with all my problems all my uh, situations and it helped me out a lot did you know about Jesus as he was in Christianity before or no you're not too religious in that I've understood that you know Jesus died on the cross, resurrected, and three days later, um, and way before that, there was basically he was uh, in the desert for 40 days, 40 nights, without food or water, tempted by uh, the devil himself to give up. Um, you know, he had uh, the apostles with him, the 12 apostles. What about like how, how he was born and what happened with him? His mother. Uh, never got to answering that and uh, never uh, questioned it if anything so mostly just saying like you know what happened to uh, Mary after you know the death uh, where Jesus. He, he, Jesus when he left from 
left from him. Or, um, you know, uh, did he have any brothers or sisters? Did he, like, really, I haven't really questioned anything did, did about... Did you read about him in, uh, in the Quran yet? Did you get to that? No, There's I have not. There's a whole chapter on, uh, it's called chapter of Maryam. Maryam. Maryam? whole chapter is about how he was born and around that time what happened. Okay. okay. It'll be, it'll be interesting, I think. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, I will. I will give you translated Quran, inshallah, Tala. But always remember, you have to get knowledge yeah. because knowledge is a successful. Yeah. If you want to success your life, mm -hmm. then you have to read about Islam, and Islam guide you completely. Life. So Quran. And life of Muhammad, you have to read both books. And nowadays, very easy, my dear. <coughs> Book and app. Mm -hmm. I'll give you some application too. You read their life of Muhammad and Quran. If you know about Quran, if you start to read Quran, believe me, you will no need to read anything else. I'm talking. I'm not talking talking about professional life, how to make money. But yeah. Quran guide you. This money is pure. That's called halal. This money is in impure. That's called haram. This is the good. This is the bad. This is the Islam guide you. Complete your life mm -hmm. till our till last day of our life mm -hmm. or this world. Mm -hmm. So read, improve your knowledge, and I will suggest you. Take some name because if you have Islamic name, Muslim name, it will help you. Always is striking you. Hey, I am Abdullah. Abdullah meaning slave of God. I am Abdullah. I, my name should be Islam, Islamic. This name, then it will change your life. Name, <coughs> name is very important in our life. You know when you born, born your parents gave you some name. Same thing. Now you born. When whenever you st uh, took shahada, mm -hmm. you you have this is your second born, and this is the actual whatever you did in your life, everything wiped off. God, now you are new baby, not thirty one years baby. <laughs> Today you are. Like one day baby, yeah. sinless baby. So try to keep or take any Islamic name, whatever you like. That will be good for you and around you. And what did this? Uh, uh, when this happened? When did this happen? Yeah. Uh, this happened when I was, uh... Yeah, show a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this happened when I was, uh, 20 years old. Uh, this was actually a tribute to my father. Um, he, uh, I, I've, again, it was, uh, it impacted me, but I was like, you know what, I'll remember him for what he did as when I, when I had him around. And I've always seen him fixing cars all the time. <laughs> so he was a mechanic. He uh, was mechanic. Yeah, he was a mechanic. He loves fixing cars, and yeah. he want me to be like him, and to be mechanic. He should be mechanic, but I've never uh, enjoyed enjoy. enjoyed it. So uh, I learned a, a little bit of it. Yeah. So so I, I, I enjoyed uh, enjoyed a bit of it, but it wasn't that for me. That's for sure. So I I, I stopped when I started when I was um, ten years old, and. Uh, the three years I was with him, I've learned uh, a lot. And then by the age of 18, that's when I stopped. I didn't want to do it anymore. So yeah. I, I kind of I knew like uh, how to fix drum brakes, uh, front ah, brakes, good. radiator. Um, I learned how to took apart the engine, uh, learned how to put a piston in. Uh, it was all like a young age for me, so I could have, I could have, you know, restore a car. You can fix your own car. I can Even fix my you own know car. What to do now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If it goes wrong with plumbing, you can do it. Electrical, you can do it. With yep. Car, you can do it. Yeah, this is like some things that I've like pulled for it, and then I can just like you know do it myself or fix it. So. That's a good thing. Yeah, I've I've always uh, 
always to do everything at hands-on training so and it's, it's something that I've always wanted to do that's for sure to YouTube to do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I never was in YouTube, so mostly just learned it from like professors and and um, what's it called uh, and my father. So whoever people around me. That I, I, what I've learned is that if you do want to be passionate about something and you want to learn about more about it, work for free. Uh -huh. Be be uh, an intern in a way because once you uh, understood uh, how the business works, how they work. You get all that free knowledge on the field, and then later on you can apply it on that all uh, on your own. So you are the smart. Yeah, uh, it's in a way street smart. You know, like I've learned it some some ways. So yeah. Thank you very much. Keep in touch, <coughs> and welcome to Pak Islam. And I hope wish you good luck. Inshallah, Allah see you soon. If you have any comments. And if you have any question from my respected frame, he, he's Abdullah. Abdullah meaning slave of God. That's called Allah Kabanda. So whatever you have question, you can ask. I will send to him. Good luck. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi